Hurricane Melissa made landfall earlier today as one of the strongest storms on record to make landfall in the Atlantic Basin. We'll talk about that after I thank tonight's forecast sponsor. Atlantic Edge Credit Union is proud to support the communities and businesses of Newfoundland and Labrador. Buy local, bank local, grow local with Atlantic Edge Credit Union. Visit aecu.ca or stop by one of their 16 branches across the province. As of just before 4.30 Newfoundland Daylight Time, Hurricane Melissa is still a Category 5 and the eye is just south of Montego Bay. Those highest winds, sustained 270, gusting 350, are around the center of the storm and extend outward roughly 40 to 45 kilometers, although that might be shrinking as the eye is getting a little bit smaller. The pressure is still nearly 900 millibars, still below that, which is astonishing, and the storm is now moving northeast at 13 kilometers per hour. As the storm moves back into the Atlantic later tonight, in its wake, we're talking about widespread devastation in parts of Jamaica from flooding, storm surge flooding, extremely heavy rainfall, which likely caused flash flooding, and then obviously the damage from the very destructive wind speeds. The storm moves over Cuba and the Bahamas during the day tomorrow and then continues northeast as it accelerates thereafter. The forecast cone does show Melissa may make a close pass, or at least what's left of it, between later Friday and Saturday near the Avalon Peninsula. Now that cone is kind of close and it's something to be, I don't want to say concerned about because there will still be some impacts with what's left of Melissa at that point. But most of the guidance does show that Melissa Center is going to remain southeast of Newfoundland between Friday and Saturday. Now, there is some computer model guidance that does suggest it might be a little bit closer than that. I'm not biting on that just yet, but I will be keeping a very close eye on it because these tropical systems, as they begin to interact with um, other troughs and pieces of energy coming off the continent, uh, the forecast for them can change occasionally. So I'll be watching that very, very closely. Now, speaking of the forecast changing, Yesterday, it didn't look like there was going to be any rain around the Avalon Peninsula. Surprise, surprise, we are seeing some. Over Trapassi, up through Cape Royal this afternoon, a few showers to the east of St. John's as well, to the east of Marystown. This is mostly sinking back down to the south. It does look like areas of the southeast and southwest Avalon around Cape St. Mary's, uh, Cape Race, Cape Pine, maybe saw some significant rain for at least a bit this afternoon. Uh, that has since eased and it will continue to do so as the evening and overnight does progress as we are watching an area of high pressure building in. That high is going to set the stage for a sunnier Wednesday and even Thursday across most of the province. Thereafter, things change a tad. So for tonight, across Newfoundland and Labrador, lows roughly minus 2 to plus 3 or plus 4. Any showers in the southeast, well, they ease in the next few hours. Looking ahead to tomorrow and Thursday, we can show them together because not really a whole lot's going to be on the go. Highs in the low teens both days across the island with various amounts of sunshine in Labrador. Looking at temperatures of 8, 9, 10 degrees over the next few days with, again, various amounts of sun, but no super impactful weather as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. Thereafter... I say that word a lot today. <laughs> Things may change. I guess it's just kind of in the forward part of my brain. We'll see if I don't say it again. And then looking at the Halloween forecast, because here's what a lot of folks are curious about as we go into Friday. Looks like there might be some rain for southern and southwestern Newfoundland later in the day on Friday. Maybe some showers late in the day along the west coast. As of now, eastern, central, northern peninsula look dry. In Labrador, most areas also look dry for the kitties on our Halloween the dancing Frankenstein always gets me. But things are going to change. It does look like Labrador is going to see the first significant snowfall of the season, Friday night into Saturday. So future radar and cloud cover kind of shows this pretty well. The big circulation down there to the east of Halifax, that is what's left of Melissa. Another system coming in from Quebec is going to pull some of Melissa's moisture into Atlantic Canada between Friday and Saturday, but the center of it, you can see it there, should still remain to the southeast of Newfoundland. Now, 
This is not necessarily a bad setup because this setup gives us a lot of moisture from Melissa, which we need, but keeps the highest wind speeds offshore. If Melissa, or what's left of it, goes a little further to the west or to the left-hand side of your screen, I suppose, it's going to be a little bit of a different story, but we'll kind of park that for now. Uh, into Labrador, 6 a.m. Saturday, you, you can see the snow there from Nain back to Wabush and Churchill Falls. That will persist through much of Saturday. In fact, highs on Saturday in Labrador are going to struggle to get above freezing for a lot of areas. Meanwhile, on the island, we are looking warm with temps in the teens on Saturday and the rain showers and areas of fog along the south and southwest coast. As we go into Sunday, we see a cool down working in as what's left of both systems begin to kind of pull away. And that will see the snow ending in Labrador. The showers eventually ending on the island, but temperatures on Sunday across Newfoundland are going to be only about five or six degrees while in Labrador. Again, a high near freezing on your Sunday. So certainly something to keep in mind and watch as we close in on the end of the work week. If you don't have my app yet, be sure to get it in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Uh, if you're not watching this on your mobile device and you want the app, scan that QR code there on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. Have a very, very good Tuesday evening. Stay safe. And if you're in Jamaica, have family in Jamaica, friends in Jamaica, or Cuba, or the Bahamas for that matter, my thoughts and prayers are with them. And hopefully, as the storm clears, we will find things aren't as bad as they look like they could be. Have a very good Tuesday night.